Alrighty guys, today is Sunday, March 14th, and we are going to be going out today and tomorrow and doing more or less the Chris River Slam or the Inshore Slam. Trout, Redfish, Snook. Looking forward to a great day. I've got John and two of his friends. I've actually not fished with these guys before, so if you've watched some of our other videos, you can tell I've fished with some of these clients a lot. John actually walked down to Shrimp Landing on Friday. I was playing some fish, looked at me and said, you have anything open? So I might be able to take you Sunday. He seemed like a nice guy and uh, we're gonna give it a shot. But we're gonna go through a bunch of different stuff the next two days with catching trout, redfish, and snook. There's a really cool school of jacks right here. Right here in Kings Bay on our way out this morning, bright and early, and they're smashing bait fish. We're looking forward to a great day. We're gonna have a good time the next couple of days. I'm gonna show you guys a lot on how to find and catch trout reds and snook in Crystal River. Looking forward to it. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna talk a little bit about tackle for what we're gonna be doing today. And it's pretty basic as far as the trout redfish stuff goes, but we're gonna be fishing with some of our new snook setups. Uh, got these from Sodium. These are the new Terramar XX rods. Seven foot six, 15 to 30. Paired up with the new Shimano Twin Power 5000 XG. And we have white 20 pound Power Pro on there. Absolutely awesome setups and for those of you that have fished with me before, know that I usually have one nostalgic rod on the boat. In the summertime, I normally carry my Talus, which is a Shimano I bought when I was 14 years old. But on the inshore boat, I carry this St. Croix, and I've had it for 12 years. It's an eight footer cork handle. The cork is nearly rubbed off the bottom from my hands and customers' hands, but I always like to carry something that kind of reminds me of when I started fishing depending on which boat I'm in, depends on what it is, but that's what we have today. These are gonna be some of our six setups. We've got two of the Terramar setups and then the one St. Croix. We'll talk a little more about the trout and redfish stuff as we start working into doing that. We just stopped by Shrimp Landing and picked up our customers. Today we've got Kristen, Dan, and John. They're gonna be the ones that we're gonna work with on trying to catch the limited trout, resin, snook. That's kind of our plan today. We've got a medium high tide that's going out really hard right now. So we're gonna to get to work through the low tide for trout. And then after that, we'll uh, start looking for snook as the water starts coming up and hopefully finish off a little bit of redfish action. It's gonna be a beautiful day. I think the forecast today is virtually no wind, but a little bit of a breeze out of the east starting this morning, tapering off to pretty much nothing. And I think the temperature this morning was 58 degrees at my house when I left. I haven't checked it over here near the water yet, but it's gonna be about perfect. Hopefully we don't have to sweat to death and uh, we'll have a lot of fun. So if you guys have seen some of our offshore stuff, you know that we use a lot of pinfish. Well, today we're going to be getting pinfish to use for our snook fishing. And we might even use it for redfish. The nice thing about this time of year is I only need one trap usually, and predominantly I can pull one trap, get away with a good handful of baits, and that's all I need for a day. So hopefully the one trap we've got out here is in good shape, and we'll have plenty of bait to snook fish with this afternoon when the tide turns around and starts coming back in. guys we got a 7.6 medium action rod 3000 twin power reel 10 pound braid as simple as this is we're gonna take a 1 8 ounce jig head 
And this is a golden brown mirror lure Little John. Slide it up on there. That's all you need. I'm gonna hand it to Dan, and Dan's gonna throw it out here with the wind. Show us how to catch a speckled trout with it. Dan, you're just gonna let that thing sink to the bottom and jig it up off the bottom, let it fall back. It's about five foot. I promise you're not gonna hook anybody. If you throw directly over your right shoulder, as long as somebody's not standing right behind you. Yep. That's okay. So you go ahead and walk up there toward him. And he's gonna keep fighting his fish, yep. It acts like a decent one. Absolutely a decent one. <laughs> so that took three casts mm -hmm. from Mr. Dan, but there it is. It's 15 to 22, is it? It's 15 to 19. One over 19 per boat. That one's about 17 inches. Nice. Oh, pull, pull! Keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling. You're doing great. It did feel a little funny. It did, didn't it? Swing him up here to me. Believe it or not, that's actually a silver trout. That would be like the crappie of saltwater. Okay, so it's a bait fish. No, 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 it's an eating fish. It is a cousin to a speckled trout, which is what Dan caught, but there's no size limit or bag limit on them. Okay. I thought I felt something. To... Hey, if you think you feel something, yeah. you probably felt something. No, you're fine. You, you keep doing you keep doing your thing. Dan's gonna swing him right over the side of the boat right here. I believe it's a silver. It is. They are. You ever seen these before? No, I haven't. Most people haven't, so they only live on the north side of Crystal River. As funny as that is. So if you go down to like Ozello or Homosassa, you'll fish your whole life and never see one of these. Bring him on up, just swing him right in the boat whenever he's ready. Yep, swing him right here to me. go snook fishing, I will be very serious about asking you to keep your rod tip up. That's okay. It is a speckle. You can let him run. You can let him run. You got him. Hey, nice and easy. We, we got we, you. You got him on there. He's actually not big enough to keep. Do this. We're gonna put that rod butt just like that. Put your right hand up a little higher. There you go. Check him out. So he's not big enough to keep, but he's close to it. No. Oh yeah, we're gonna get a picture of him. Alright, when he runs and now reel, right? Yep. Right. Come here, buddy. I say that. He might fish. I'll measure him. He'll be close. He might actually be 18. 
So he got us a nice little triple tail. Uh, I threw a bait right to him, twitched it by him, he ate it, handed the rod to Chris, she set the hook, and uh, it's a beautiful fish. Gave us a good fight, a lot of fun. We're gonna see if he's 18 inches, and if, if he is, he's riding with us, and if he's not, he's going back. Rude way, but they just showed up. I mean, when I saw you the other day, it's the first triple tail of the year. Okay. I mean, that was, yeah, so it's like, you know, it's not, my eyes aren't adjusted. And you'll get, you'll get it in a few weeks where there will be one on every buoy and a lot of shorts. And you're sitting here running by fish after fish having to make a judgment call in your head. He's on the white buoy up there. It looked like a nice one. I might be wrong. John, you up? All right, Dan, well, you're gonna walk up and stand right underneath the front deck and hopefully this is gonna play out just like what you saw with Chris's fish. Like I said, it looked like a nice one. When you reel that line tight, I want you to put it to them. They're professionals that come in. Start reeling, keep going, keep going, put it to him. Keep on, keep on, keep on. That'll be better. Keep it, keep the heat on it. Just for this. The best part is when they go halfway behind the boat, you get halfway around the rods and they go back this way. So you see that last fish? You see, a, you see a lot of variation in these fish. The last one was a little bit of a thinner fish. Not bad, a little thinner. This fish is a lot meaner and he's also crank down on him again. There you go. I'll come back out. There we go. Now that's a nice one. So if you look at a triple tail, you videoing? Yeah. So if you look at a triple tail, you'll see this ro this blade right here. That is all spikes, and that is a razor blade. If your line gets around that, he can easily cut it, and if your fingers get on it, it will slice you to the bone. And that's a beautiful one. Good work, Dan. They're strong fighters, aren't they? That is fun. When they put their head down, <laughs> they're going somewhere. Yeah, that's neat. Beautiful. Thank you. Dan, there's days that I wait 10 minutes for a fish to come up after the boat spooks him.
सर We all started looking at him and said, man, he looks like he might go. They're practically a really angry smallmouth. Come here, buddy. You're going to survive the experience. So we've caught some trout. We've caught a couple nice triple tail and a couple throwbacks. And now we're going to move to snook. And with that being said, Snook, we're gonna pull up here. We got a couple of spots where I know where there's some schools of fish. We're gonna throw some live baits out there and hopefully we're gonna get them to work for us. All we gotta do is get a couple to bite and we can, usually once you get one to bite, you can get the rest of them to go. So, we'll see how it works out for us. Yeah, you're about right. I think your bait might be in the grass. All right, here we go. Let's fish. Pull hard, 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 hard. Keep it on him, keep it on him. Rod tip up, 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 up. Up, 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 up. Go, 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 go. Just got bit, right? Watch me. See me how I'm, how I'm up and tight? Yep, yep. There you go. Trade me. Nice. You immediately wanted to go down. So try to get that rod butt out in front of you a little more. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Let him go. Beautiful. Chris, come here. Chris, come here. Oh, that was a little guy. Dan, you want to grab that net and net that fish for me? I'm going to try to get Chris hooked up. I am going to coach you. I promise. That's good. That's what he's supposed to do. Hey, hey, slow down. Enjoy it. Don't lose your mind over it. All right, I'm going to take this for you. I'm going to hand you this. You take the rod. Yeah, okay. What did I say? 29 and some change? Yeah. Right around 30. Hold on. No, no, he's good, he's good. You're gonna net that one? All right, just leave him in the water. I'm pretty sure that one's gonna be good too. So what we're doing is we're fishing live bait for snook. So my preferred bait would be this. So live pig fish, put that circle hook right in his shoulder, throw him out there. And if you're really lucky, a big snook will grab a hold of him. And you'll be like John up here fighting Moby Dick. <laughs> bingo, bingo. Suck, daddy -o. Now watch me. There you go. Start real, start real, start real, start real, 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 you're doing great. All right, now ease up just a little bit. Hey. That's good. That's what he's supposed to do. <laughs> hey, hey, slow down. Enjoy it. Okay. Don't lose your mind over it. All right, I'm going to take this for you. 
I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna hand you this. You take the rod. Yeah. Okay. What I say, 29 and some change. Yeah. Right around 30. Hold on. No, no, he's good. He's good. You're gonna net that one. That's a nice redfish, slot fish, and he took it down deep as you can tell by a little bit of blood, but I'll show you in just a second how we're catching them and what we're using. Fishing right here along this mangrove shoreline. You can see that jig head way down there. Which is okay since we're taking him home. After we get our limit, usually we'll fish a little tighter on our line, and we might miss more fish, but we usually won't hook them quite this deep. This is what a fine limit of snook looks like. Chris has got about a 30 incher. The biggest one we've caught so far is about 32. John caught it. And we got another 32 right here that's uh, just a hair bit thinner, but beautiful fish. You know, not something that people think of when they think of Chris River, great snook fishing. But we did it all with two Terramars, a little bit of fluorocarbon and a couple circle hooks. It's really easy to do. You have to be patient and you have to know where the fish are gonna lay. But once you get a couple of the variables figured out, you really can get these fish dialed in and have for a great day in a hurry.